Do you have ongoing joint pain, aches? Maybe they're migrating from your knees to your elbows, to your shoulders. Maybe you've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and wondering, can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to discuss this specific question, can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? We're going to look at a new study on a bacteria in the gut that's been associated with rheumatoid arthritis and what that might mean for treatment and diagnostics around rheumatoid arthritis. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, just want you to know that I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your body. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, and overall optimization of your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's check out this question. Can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? Can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? Well, before we look at whether or not it can or can't be cured, first let's discuss what this actually means to be cured from rheumatoid arthritis. So when it comes to rheumatoid arthritis or any autoimmune disease for that matter, you have to consider the long-term consequences of this upregulated immune activity on the joints and the tissues of the body, depending on which particular autoimmune disease you have. In this case, it's going to be your joints. In that regard, the lack of symptoms like pain or discomfort in those joints doesn't necessarily mean that there's no activity or upregulated immune response in the joints themselves. In this regard, the lack of symptoms or pain in your joints may not be the only goal you should have. For instance, you may have elevated rheumatoid factor or relatively high C-reactive protein, sed rate, and other autoantibodies in your blood. Your joint pain may be relatively manageable and mild with the use of over-the-counter non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. However, it would be a mistake to assume that there's no ongoing joint damage in your body just because your joint pain is relatively minor. So when we're asking this question, can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? We also have to consider what we mean by that. And in looking at that, we don't want to just say you don't have any symptoms. We also want to see the absence of elevations of markers for rheumatoid arthritis in your blood. So answering this question from a conventional medicine rheumatology perspective, generally speaking, RA cannot be cured and generally is looked at as a condition that can be managed with medications like biological medications and medications that suppress the immune system activity and therefore decrease the effect on the joints. On the other hand, alternative medicine, there's lots of claims about different approaches regarding dietary changes and treating leaky gout and things like this as ways to treat and potentially cure rheumatoid arthritis. Now, these are things that I've actually witnessed in my practice where you'll see the absence of any symptoms and also signs in the blood like C-reactive protein, rheumatoid factor, and others going down to very low levels and well within the normal ranges. Now, once you get those numbers into those ranges, you're always going to be susceptible to that condition, but it would be said to be in remission or possibly could use the term quiescent for a moment. So it's with this context, I want to share some new research with regard to RA that kind of puts some of the pieces of this puzzle together for us and may give hope to people suffering with RA that there is actually a way to treat this condition in a more permanent way. So earlier in 2003, there was a study published in Arthritis and Rheumatology, and the study looked at the association between antibodies to a particular type of bacteria called Provotella corpi and the risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. This Provotella corpi is a particular type of digestive or gut-related bacteria. The study looked at 2,000 people who were at risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. 1,000 people who had early rheumatoid arthritis and 1,000 people who had established rheumatoid arthritis. And the researchers measured the level of antibodies to this particular bacteria 
in the blood of all the participants. And the study found that the, the people who had higher levels of the antibody to the Provotella corpi bacteria were more likely to actually go on and develop rheumatoid arthritis. In addition, they also found that the levels of antibodies to this bacteria were higher in people who had early rheumatoid arthritis and in people who had established rheumatoid arthritis compared to people who were simply just at risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. And the study's authors concluded that this antibody to the bacteria may be an early detector or biomarker that can be used for rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis. Of course, they went on to say that more research is needed to determine whether the presence of the antibody can be used to predict who's going to develop or at risk for rheumatoid arthritis, and more, more research would be needed to develop treatments around this particular approach in this particular bacteria. What I found also interesting about this is that the researchers noted that the molecular structure of one of the common antibodies for rheumatoid arthritis called the anti-CCP antibody had a similar molecular structure to the antibody for Provotella corpi, meaning that the molecular structure of that bacteria has some proteins that overlapped with the tissues in our body particularly the tissue associated with the anti-CCP antibody. So this suggests that the antibodies to the Provotella corpi may be produced in response to the presence of that bacteria kind of pushing through the digestive lining or getting a little overactive in the immune systems now producing antibodies to keep that bacteria in check. However, through molecular mimicry, the immune system can make a mistake when it's trying to make an antibody to that bacteria. And just one amino acid or a few amino acid changes in trying to target that bacteria can end up targeting that CCP tissue instead of the bacteria that's in the gut. Once that molecular mimicry or mistake is made, then you have rheumatoid arthritis. You can't really unwind that. That means every time the immune system is trying to attack that bacteria, it may or probably likely will produce antibodies to the tissues of your body as well that are reflective of that CCP tissue. Another relatively recent study found that people with rheumatoid arthritis were more likely to have leaky gut than people without rheumatoid arthritis. Now, there's lots of debate on what actually leaky gut is and how you diagnose it. So I wouldn't take this study as definitive evidence, but adds to the supporting role of this leaky gut and bacterial issue may be contributing or as the actual cause for rheumatoid arthritis. There's also studies looking at treatment with antibiotics, getting improved symptoms and signs in those with rheumatoid arthritis. So can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? Well, all in all, these studies suggest that leaky gut, and in particular, this Vitella corpi bacteria may play an important role in the development and severity of rheumatoid arthritis. Of course, more research is needed to confirm these findings and to further develop the diagnostics around this particular bacteria and its association with rheumatoid arthritis. For me, it definitely adds to the growing knowledge that leaky gut and the immune system are an important part of treating and reducing the symptoms and signs of autoimmune disease in people with rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions. Of course, treatment for something like this can be fairly nuanced and should be done under the supervision of a doctor or qualified medical professional. So make sure you consult with them before taking anything into your own hands. All right, how'd I do? Did that help you better understand this question? Can rheumatoid arthritis be cured? Hopefully it does, and hopefully it gives you a better understanding of what might be going on in your body if you have autoimmune disease or rheumatoid arthritis. If you do have follow-up questions on this topic, drop them in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that topic. Definitely try and answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.